You're probably clicking on this video because you've learned kickflips and you want to know what to learn afterwards. Or you're just bored and you're looking at something that you're not even close to doing yet. Um, just to plan for after you learn kickflip. Either way, I have three tricks that you need to learn after kickflips. And this is just, uh, these are tricks that I learned right after kickflips. And in my opinion, they're good for it because they're, they don't take too much effort other than just like one or two extra things after doing kickflips. So if you can kickflip, you can pretty much do these because they're basically just kickflips with some little bit of extra stuff added to it, you know? So it should be easy to learn and I'm just gonna get ready to show you. I wanna do some kickflips to warm up and do some other warm up stuff because I have not skated at all today. So first trick out of the three is Vario Kickflip. And this is one you probably learned before even kickflip. Um, but if you didn't, you should definitely learn it because if you're playing games of skate, most people just, you know, do it and then move on to like tray flips or something else and then forget how to do it. So in games of skate, it's great because most people won't be able to land it very consistently. Also, it takes a lot of precision to land it. So if you can get it down consistently, you can do it down stuff, it's super nice. Um, a lot of people say they're ugly. I think they look fine. Trick number two is backside flip. And this one, I chose this one because one, it is a trick that a lot of people learn after kickflip. And two, it's basically just do a kickflip and then yank your shoulders. Do regular kickflip. That's it. So I'll do a few of those, show you what I mean. Oh, that was bad. That was pretty good. So this last one, don't let the name fool you. It's not that hard, but the name of it is Hard Flip. Um, it's really just weird. Um, the foot positioning and the foot movement and everything, it's kind of wonky. But as long as you just try it for a little while, you're gonna get the hang of how it feels where you're putting your feet and how you're moving them. But you're literally just gonna set your feet up like a tray flip, you know? Just kinda in the scooping position, but you're not gonna scoop it. You're just gonna pop straight down. And your back foot, you're gonna stiff it down after you, do, you pop it. Just straight down, just bloop, stiff it out. And your front foot, just pull it up like this. So you're kinda just doing a, that motion. And you just do that and jump as high as you can and it'll suck up into your feet and it'll just work. Of course, it's a little different if you have grippier shoes or if you have, you know, different grip tape that's not as grippy or is more grippy. So you're gonna have to finagle it a little bit and figure out what's best for you. But that's the general idea of the hard flip. Got a little trashy, but... Oh. Yeah, preferably you don't want that to happen. Mm. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will go out and try the tricks I showed you. Um, if you guys want like in-depth trick tips on anything that I can do, I'll make it for you. You just gotta comment it. Um, also, these aren't like, you know, the next tricks after kickflip. There's definitely, you know, if you prefer to land something else, definitely go for that. Like if you wanna do frontside flips, go for it. 
I would just recommend doing backside flips first because they're, they get you used to the motion and everything of turning while doing the, the flip. And it's just, it's easier to get the feel for it and do that one. And then once you have that one, you know, you're just more confident and more able to do it than frontside flip. Because I feel like it just takes more effort. And then I'm going to do a tray flip before I go because this ground's really rough and I've been working on my tray flips. And we'll see if I can actually land a good one on rough ground because rough ground sucks for tray flips. If you've been trying them, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're never going to see me again until you click on the next video, which is going to be over there in the corner.